All right, I think I think I'm up and running. I think I'm live here. Uh, let me just check real quick. Got to do the customary the customary check my phone to make sure I'm live so that I know that I'm talking to someone else besides myself. All right, so give me one second. If you can hear me out there, let me know that you can hear me. Uh, let's see your channel. Uh, let's see. Can you hear me? Comment right now if you can hear me. Oh, let's turn that down just a second. Uh, let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Skip that. All right, so great. I can hear myself. That means that means I'm live, so that's a good thing. Uh, hello and welcome. Hopefully you can hear me too. Let me know if, if you're having issues hearing me. Uh, I'll try and speak up. Uh, we'll just wait a couple seconds to get up and running, but I think this is going to be a cool video, another cool video that that we will create. Uh, while we wait, I want to... I want to show you something that I think is really cool right now that you could potentially take advantage of. Uh, I did a TikTok video about this, and this isn't going to be the main video, but um, if I go back over here, a couple days ago, I think I created a video about how to draw, and I just want to show you that real quick. Um, I don't remember how I stumbled across this, but let's do how to, and the how to niche in general is is pretty good if you want to create content so we go to matching terms i'm just going to add in draw now this isn't this this has nothing to do with with um with amazon or or getting started like that and speaking of amazon if you guys have a niche that you want me to go into or a product that you want me to start with on amazon uh, go ahead and comment right now and we'll actually use that as a catalyst as a way to start creating your content so uh let's see how to and then we're just going to type in draw it's just like that D R A W. We'll type it in correctly, and as you can see here, um, there are 6.4 million monthly searches, 640,000 keywords, and if we just change this to zero, and we hit enter, you're gonna see again there are tons of searches in the drawing niche. Now the cool thing with this, <clears throat> and and I know that this is pretty powerful and. Um, this is a pretty good niche to get into because last year while we were doing virtual learning at the end of every class They would ask to draw something and so there are millions of kids around the around the internet and around the world are searching basic questions like how to draw and if you look at this all of these have a keyword difficulty of zero um, and this one has 4.4 thousand monthly searches and so what you would do here is you would draw a mute draw a moon over on YouTube, let's go to YouTube real quick. You draw a moon and then you have a lot of options. You could obviously recommend the Sharpie that you're using. You could rec recommend um, like a drawing table, drawing lighting, drawing paper, all sorts of drawing stuff. But that's one way to go. I found a website that the guy was actually selling digital products and that would be a really cool thing to do. Maybe you put together a book of teaching people how to draw why didn't this work um, put together a book of how to draw and you could potentially make money that way so if we look at this this top result from nine months ago 73,000 views 39,000 views from two years ago and these are simple how to draw videos um, now again this isn't the main thing that we want to cover or talk about but I just thought this was really cool if I knew how to draw you could bang like 10 or 20 of these out the way that I would do it is I would I would do one video, actually I would I would probably do like 10 or 12 of these videos at one time and I would just have a camera pointing down at whatever it is I'm drawing and I'd first go through and do it do it the regular speed and then I would have it come back and do it like a half speed because one of the things is is the kids will always stop and ask and say, hey, can you pause it so that they can catch up? But if you want a, a cool niche to get into and you know how to draw, you simply go over to Ahrefs like this and you just type in how to draw you could bang out 10 or 20 of these in one sitting, break them up into separate videos and you could make money. Anyway, that is, that is how to draw. That, that is a, a bonus, a bonus niche or a bonus idea. All right. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about Amazon. Now that <clears throat> I got that out of the way, Amazon, as you may or may not know, is the largest affiliate network in the world. It has probably at this point about a million affiliate marketers in a wide variety of niches and and it's it's pretty popular it was really popular back in the day but it's kind of fallen out of favor high um is it Chabelle? i probably mispronounced it i apologize um 
it's fallen out of favor just a little bit because they keep reducing the commission. It's still a good opportunity because you can stack commissions. And what I mean by that is you can promote you can promote this whisk here. And then if someone buys the whisk and a stand mixer and an easy bake oven, you can earn commissions on all of it. So that's why people still like using Amazon, whereas with the other one, all right, perfect. I'm glad I pronounced your name correctly. I'm terrible with names, uh, by the way. Um, so that's why people still like Amazon because you can stack commissions. And one of the, the what we're gonna do today, I'm just kind of scrolling through and looking at stuff. Uh, what we're gonna do today is we're going to find a product to promote now remember with affiliate marketing you are simply linking a solution with a problem all of these products here are a problem of some or all of these products here are a solution of some sort people have a problem they come to the internet and they're looking for a solution all of these these are millions of of little solutions and what your job is as an affiliate marketer is to figure out the way that people are asking the questions and the way that people are asking the problems once you can figure that out you can you can make money, uh, and you can have a successful affiliate marketing career. Hey, Shaibel, while I have you, and, and again, I apologize if I mispronounce the name. Is there a product that you want to promote on Amazon? And again, this can work with with any product on Amazon. You just need to to pick a product, and I recommend a product of at least one hundred and fifty dollars so that it's worth your while. Any product on Amazon. And then you're going to do what's called reverse engineering. Or you're just going to work backwards and figure out the questions that people are asking, the problems that people are asking with related to, um, with relation to, to the, the solution or, or the product. So you don't want to maybe think of the product as a product. Think of the product as a solution. Think of it like that. Maybe that'll change the way that you think about promoting and affiliate marketing and making money online because people are coming to the internet looking for a solution and this uh, security camera, this ring doorbell is a solution. Maybe people are coming in and they're looking for ways to make sure that their kid got home safely or how to prevent a burglar or how to uh, appear that you're at, ho at home while you're not at home, things like that. Those are different solutions that people are looking for and or, or questions that people are asking and this ring doorbell would be the solution. But that's just one way to go. If we, uh, what we can do here, and again, this works for anything. You can do this with um, portable refrigerators. I actually did, um, I talked about this in my other channel. One of the cool things that I found over on, when I was looking up Yeti affiliate program. Hey Chris, how's it going? Uh, welcome from UK. It's got to be pretty early over there, I would assume. Um, I did... I see I have a second YouTube channel. I should show you this. Um, I did the Yeti affiliate program, which is pretty cool. Yeti has, sells high end, um, high end like travel mugs and uh, backpacks and things of that nature. 2337. Yeah, it's, it's not too bad. Anyway, um, they sell high end products and I, I can't think, let's see, let me just show you Yeti real quick. Now you could promote Yeti and you could promote Yeti either through Yeti or through Amazon. Either way works. Um, hair supplies, craft supplies, electronics, camera, phones, accessories. Uh, electronics are going to be really easy if you think about it. If we go to, so this is Yeti and they have like travel mugs. One of the things that I did and I thought was really cool was cooler backpacks or backpack cooler. Um, so if we type in backpack cooler, backpack cooler. Actually, I think I already have that saved. Let me just make sure. Um, and I thought backpack coolers are really cool because it's not that competitive and there's a lot of different people that would be interested in backpack coolers uh also um wine tumblers was something that was non-competitive as well so i'm just going to show you backpack cooler here real quick so the keyword difficulty is 11 which is usually a good sign if we go over to the matching terms you can see that there are thousands of monthly searches 210,000 monthly searches, 3,000 keywords about backpack coolers. And the reason why I bring this up is, again, it's a product you could probably promote on Amazon, but people of all sorts, of all demographics are looking for these different coolers. People that are hunters, people that are tailgating, people that have kids travel basketball and they want to keep their, their orange slices cool. These are all different people that have a problem. They want to keep something cool. Uh, you could even do like how to keep cool 
maybe we could try that. We're going to wind up getting off the rails here. How to keep cool. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I want to know how to keep orange slices cool or something like that. How to keep dogs cool. How to keep cool in the heat. Let's see. Uh, there's 48,000 monthly searches. Let's see if we could... Let's change the keyword difficulty to five or less. And what we're looking for is like how to keep orange slices cool or how to keep your Gatorade cool or something like that. So all of these are probably not exactly what we're looking for, but that's interesting nonetheless. So we'll get back to that. Let's go ahead and talk about, uh, we have hair supplies, we have craft supplies, and we have electronics like camera, phone accessories, and so on. So what we can do, let's go over to Amazon and let's start with electronics. And there's a number of ways that you can promote electronics. Let's find one real quick. Uh, where to find electronics? So we're going to click on see all. Let's go over to computers. Now again, computers are going to be pretty easy. And there's going to be a number of ways to do it. So we're going to do monitors. And what we can do first, if you find a product, let's say, uh, let's say this $200 computer monitor. What we can do is first thing we can do is we can grab this um, this product name here and we can put it right into a Ahrefs. But I, I know for a fact that people are over on Amazon or on, on YouTube are talking about like best monitors for. And then as you can see here, people are looking up best monitors for gaming, PS5, Xbox, and so on. You can simply create content in all of these different ideas or topics and then you can list them all off that's what that's what these guys are doing every all day every day um so like let's do best monitors for programming if we hit the space bar again you can see that people are asking even more detailed information uh, another thing that we can do is so as you can see here top result thirteen thousand views from two months ago let's see if we can find a small subscriber uh, fifteen thousand subscribers five thousand views another thing we can do is we can go up here and we can just paste in the product name like this hit the space bar and usually what we'll see is we can do like comparison so versus as you can see here people are doing this product name versus the lenovo and the other one in the view sonic and so on we could also just straight do review that's pretty common actually let's take a look at versus and see how many people are searching that so versus Top result, 7.1 thousand views from a year ago. This person only has 5,000 subscribers. The one below it, 10,000 views. This person only has only 1.25 thousand subscribers. Again, we know what the product is. We know what the solution is, and it's this product. And we need to go out and find problems in different ways that people are asking it. So as you can see here, we just did versus. Um, and again, we can do review as well. Review is pretty common. Um, review, I think, is, is usually pretty sat saturated because I think most, I think anybody and everybody realizes that review videos are usually people that are ready to buy. But if you can move up a step, you can potentially start making money maybe faster or you're going to find less competitive stuff. So if we look at this, uh, we did review here, top result, uh, 282,000. Uh, let's see if we can find a smaller channel, but you can see here that people are doing this again review i think is is that bottom of the funnel in my opinion people know that if you create reviews they're they're kind of ready to buy we could also do alternatives i like alternatives um let's see alternate alternatives i can't spell let's go back over to um so what i did was and this is ahrefs you could start ahrefs seven dollars for seven days um, i just put in the product name and as you can see, there are 6,000 monthly searches. There are 463 keywords. And they're looking up different questions with regard to the monitor. So this is basic stuff I think that everybody knows. But another, you have to ask yourself, why would people be looking up a monitor? What problems have you incurred or run into where they need a new computer monitor? Maybe, you know, something like, um, like, um, computer monitor blurry screen blurry screen or blurry text how to fix the text something like that 
kids broke it. Yep, exactly. Kids broke the monitor and you're trying to manually fix it. Mo monitor pins broke in monitor. Monitor screen blurry. These are all questions that basic people are asking um, or asking basic questions. Computer monitor blurry or computer monitor won't turn on. Uh, won't turn on. Those are questions people are asking. Desktop monitor blank. Black screen. Like my my monitor downstairs, when I turn it on, it kind of shows like the the snow. People are asking. Computer monitor. We're going to type in snow. Snow. Computer monitor snow screen. Why is my computer monitor snowy. These are basic questions that people are asking. You answer the question and then you say, hey, look, if your computer can't be repaired, then do this. Then, you know, go get this one. Uh, so, so snowy screen, Microsoft answered the question. What is the reason for LCD monitor snowy screen? What we can also do too is we can look at some of these other websites and see what they're asking and, and the questions that they're solving and then we can see if we can solve them better but these are all different things that people are asking if you put yourself in the mind of the consumer what does the consumer's solution is this computer monitor that we found this um i don't even remember what it's called the solution is this monitor so now that we know that what the solution is what what problems do they have? What questions are they asking to help them with the solution? Again, we've done best gaming monitor. We've done this simple review. Um, you, you just want to start thinking of it that way, and that's going to help you out. Um, so in my opinion, cameras are really easy. Uh, what you can do for camera is like best camera for YouTube, best camera for vlogging or something like that. Uh, hair supplies. Hair supplies is interesting. I've never done hair supplies. And one thing that I really like, and I showed you this, um, I, I think I did it in, I think I did it in my other channel. If you have no idea what to do, if you have, and I'm right now I'm using, I'm using Yeti, but you could use any product. Um, in fact, let's do that. So let's go over to hair supplies because I have no idea what to do with hair supplies. Now, when you are looking for products to promote, I recommend at least $150 just because 3% pet accessories, that's going to be a really good one. Um, I think I did pet accessories, but we'll talk about that in a second. You want to make sure that you are promoting products that are at least $150 because I think I did something with hair supplies before. Um, oh man, I did a TikTok video. What was it? How to... Stop. Best something for 4C hair. I think I did something like that. Anyway, um, let's do hair dryers because I know hair dryers are kind of expensive. And what we can do if we have no idea how to promote a product, I'm just going to find one that's over $150. Now, ideally with affiliate marketing, you want to make sure that you are promoting products because it's the right solution, not because it's the cost. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go T3 uh, and we're just going to see if see if they have an actual website all right so t3 micro they have a website which is good and what what you can do if you have no idea how to promote a product and this is a trick that i don't think really anybody talks about is we can just copy this domain name copy that paste it right into our keyword research tool so site explorer and we can use this to find niche ideas so hopefully this uh come on my computer always just crawls to a stop whenever I go live. So I'm going to paste it in T3 Micro just like that. Hit enter. And what we want to do is we want to look at the keywords. Because as you can see here, I'm not really a big hair guy. So I don't really know a ton. So they have 16,000 keywords that we could look and find potential opportunities. So let's click on that. Hopefully that loads up. Let's go over and find. Um, I want to. I went to cosmetology school and I think I'd be great at promoting hair accessories. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, you could actually start an entire, an entire YouTube channel or blog talking about cosmetology. I did a, I did a YouTube video a while back talking about a day in the life of nurses, what nurses, what they don't teach you in nursing school. You could do the same thing with cosmetology if you wanted to and to show you that that's an opportunity. And then you could even use that YouTube channel for multiple screen streams of income. Uh, so we're over here on YouTube. I'm just gonna paste in cosmetology real quick. 
Um, let's see. So let's go back over to Ahrefs. And so now we have uh, some ideas. T3 micro curler, hair straightener, curling iron, best curling iron I saw, best curling iron. We could do best curling iron four once again. Uh, we can do, let's see, hair dryer, hair dryer. We can even change this to the keyword difficulty of five or less to see if there are better solutions. But what we could do, let's go back over to Amazon. We'll take T3 micro curl something, something, something. I'm just going to copy this in just like this. I'm going to paste this over on YouTube, and this is going to be a cool little trick. I'm going to type in review after. And if, if, if I wanted to just one day decide to get into this T3 micro hair curl dryer thing, I would do this. I would go type in the product name, click review. And basically what I'm looking for is I'm looking for small and medium sized websites that are creating content that I could potentially find keywords and create a, a website. That's if I have no idea what I'm talking about, no idea what I'm doing. Uh, so let's see here, all hairdryer.com that is probably exactly what we're looking for. Um, let's see, Allure, Fluff Bar, that's, in, that's interesting to me. Hopefully this is safe to work or this will be a real short live stream. Uh, let's see, uh, the frisky.com, we'll skip that one. Well, let's take a look at this one. So allhairdryers.com is creating content, obviously about hair dryers. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the keywords that they already rank for. So I'm going to copy this, go over to Site Explorer once again. And if I wanted to enter the niche, I'm just going to paste this in just like this, hit enter. And it's going to tell me the keywords that they rank for. And this is going to give us our potential area of opportunity. So this website ranks 7 million. So that's a good sign for me. If I want to get started, they have 2000 keywords. So that's a good sign. We're going to click on that and we're going to come back to it. So if we take a look at fluff, I wonder, is this a small website? Add to cart. Uh, so this probably is a larger website. So we, we'd want to stay away from that one, but you can do this too. You want to go through best under 250. Uh, and that's actually an interesting niche as well. Best under create an entire website about the best products under a certain amount of money. Uh, and that's another way that you can, if we go back over to YouTube, oh, so this is cosmetology. So if we look at this, look at this top result, a week in the life of cosmetology student, uh, 9,000 subscribers, 26,000 views. So if you wanted to get in cosmetology, start a YouTube channel. And as you can see, this person, Danielle is kind of dominating. And I just typed in cosmetology. If we look this one right here, 54,000 views. This is a tiny channel, 6,000 subscribers, 3,000 views. And if we wanted to, and this is kind of going all over the place, but cosmetology, hit the space bar, tons of stuff being, being, being asked and answered. Cosmetology, let's say what they don't tell you. Hit enter. I spelled don't wrong, but that's fine. Hit enter. Top result here, 608 subscribers, 12,000 views. People want to know what they don't know. You create that type of content, you're going to get traffic. Uh, let's see this one down here, 2000 subscribers, 7,000 views. What you can do with a cosmetology license. You create an entire channel about cosmetology. You could make money. You could do like best, um, best blank for cosmetology. Let's do that. Oops. Uh, we'll do best blank for cosmetology, best mannequin head, best, uh, let's see, best schools, best schools, in New York, best course. Um, we could say like, I want to say like best hairdresser or best comb, but I don't know if that <laughs> makes sense. Best comb <laughs> shows you how much I know about, uh, oh, we're just going to be, there we go. Best comb for hair for cosmetology. I have no idea what <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, but that's funny to me. Anyway, um, where were we here? Let's go back over to this keyword here. This is allhairdryer.com. Now, take a look at this screen here. We see the keyword difficulty for most of these keywords is five or less. 
So if you wanted to get into cosmetology, if you want to get into hair dryers, the product that we want to recommend, best comb to use with heat. That's a, see, great. That's perfect. Best comb to use with heat. Can we copy this? Uh, let's see. Best comb to use with heat. Paste that in. Hit enter. And then now you can recommend four or five products that you find over on Amazon. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't look like that is how to create. Okay, so we might have to do a little bit more digging, but this website right here gives us a lot of information. Uh, best hair dryer for black hair, best blow dryer for 4C hair. Um, I knew I thought about 4C before. Um, so what you could do is simply what they're doing is the keywords that they're using are hair dryer and blow dryer. So if we did blow dryer, we're going to copy this just like this. And what they're doing is they're taking components of um, hair care, hair supplies, cosmetology. And, you know, this is kind of like that glossary method. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of um, his name is Marcus, the affiliate marketing dude. He talks about a, an, a glossary method. It's really just taking parts of the niche and breaking it down. So we know that blow dryers are part of cosmetology or it's a hair supply and they're just going up to uh, keywords explore just like this and they're putting in come on they're putting in hair dryer or blow dryer so we're gonna paste that in blow dryer just like that hit search and the keyword difficulty says that it's hard but if we go to matching terms here we can see that there are 362,000 monthly searches 22,000 keywords and what we can do is we can change the keyword difficulty to five or less. And just like that, we knew absolutely nothing about, or I, I, I knew absolutely nothing about, about hair supplies. And now we have, basically, we have the starters of a, of a good website. Um, we could even include something like best. If for some reason my B doesn't work. Best, just like that. And now best blow dryer for natural hair that's 3000 searches plus best blow dryer for black hair 700 searches 4c comb attachment dog blow dryer so that whoever wanted to know about dog accessories there we go best dog blow dryer uh, best blow dryer for men and it just goes on and on and you could do this so wh what we could do is we could go over to amazon and we could what what niche is this um, premium beauty makeup premium skin care hair care um, we could we could go to Amazon and now that we have hair care over here on the left hand side are the sub niches so we could create a, a YouTube channel or blog post or a website about excuse me about hair care for life .com or, or something like that and then each one of these could be our subtopics so uh, we could look up something like hair cutting tools. Let's open that up in a new tab just like this. When we look at this, we could go through and we could do like beard trimmers. We could look up beard trimmers now and we could put that into our keyword research tool. We can do styling cape. I wonder how many people are actually searching for styling capes. Now these people that are searching for styling capes, you know that there are barbers or there are cosmetologists or you know they're working in that type of space and that could actually change the type of content that you create for them so you could target people so let's go over to our keywords explore these people probably have a small business of some sort or maybe they want to start a small business and that could potentially so 190 people are, are only searching this that's not too bad um, so we know that these people might be interested in starting a business so we could potentially roll them into starting a barbershop or start, starting a hair salon or, or something like that. Um, it would be interesting to see if if that works. So let's go back over here and I'm going to just paste in. See, this is how you wind up just spending all day looking for different niches. Is Stuff is just really interesting. Um, 20 style tips on how to wear a cape this fall. Okay. Styling cape. Um, so there's really nothing here. ASMR is a huge niche. I created a video about ASMR. Actually, I created a TikTok video about ASMR, but 
I mean, that's a huge, huge, huge niche. There's a woman, her name is ASMR Bakery, ASMR Bakery, just like that. And she creates ASMR products or ASMR videos using products. And I said this in the video where she could essentially put affiliate links to the products that she's using throughout each video. For example, the one that I did was like wood carving or woodworking. Uh, let's go to videos here. Now, I actually don't really know what ASMR is or, or why it's important. I just see that a lot of people are talking about it and a lot of people are searching it. Um, let's go ASMR here. So ASMR, if you want to start a niche, ASMR, and you're going to see here millions of searches. Some of this stuff is actually not safe for work. So um, don't look at the bottom. ASMR, 2.1 million searches. But what she could do is, this is the one, ASMR wood carving. She could be an affiliate for different products over on Amazon. So she could be an affiliate. Let's go back over to Amazon here. And we could do something like, uh, let's actually, we'll use this one. So we'll go back to Amazon and we could do like wood carving blocks, wood carving blocks, just like this, hit enter. And you're going to see these wood carving blocks go for anywhere between like three and 25 bucks. She could promote the wood carving blocks that she found. I think I typed in wood carving blocks correctly because these results are different. different. Uh, but look at wood carving block, $16. She could promote a wood carving block on her ASMR channel. And if people are interested in doing their own ASMR thing, she could make money. Uh, let's go back over here to hair supplies. Do you guys have any other suggestions or ideas for a niche? We did hair supplies, craft supplies. Um, I would probably actually look at the Hobby Lobby affiliate program or Michael's. That's probably going to be a little bit better. Hair, trim, hair treatment oils. Let's do that one. So um, let's see. We're going to copy hair treatment oils just like this. Go back over to our keyword tool. And we're going to click on keywords explore. Is this making sense, guys? Let me know. If this makes sense, if this is helpful, uh, give me a like, uh, a comment. Let me know this makes sense uh, because obviously I'm doing this to show you essentially how how to get started. So um, hair treatment oils. We should probably maybe change that to oil. Uh, matching terms. Right now it says the keyword difficulty is 42. Right now it looks like only 210 people are searching hair treatment oils. Let's remove that S and see what happens hair treatment oil all right so when we removed when we removed the s that gave us 45,000 monthly searches 5,000 keywords and there's a mixture of green and some orange and even a little bit of a red in here but you can see best oil treatment for hair if we copy this we go over to YouTube or you can know you could start a blog or you could do Pinterest or you could even do, I like Pinterest because Pinterest, you can rank your Pinterest pins in Google. As you can see here, best oil treatment for hair, top result, 157,000 views, 95,000 subscribers. If we keep scrolling, let's see if we can find a small channel, 64. Okay, so all of these look like they're moderately big channels, but if we scroll up here and we hit the space bar, best oil treatment for hair growth, extensions, Let's do, uh, let's do hair growth and see what happens. Guys, let me know what you think. Do you think this is making sense? Is this viable? Is this real? Uh, let's see. I want to, uh, let's see if we can click on that. All right. So, all right. Best oil treatment for hair growth. Top result, million, 59,043.84. Uh, so these are still pretty big channels. If we go back once again, let's see if we can hit the space bar one more time and see if anything else comes up. So we can do best home remedy. So, but this is how you can eventually jump down a rabbit hole that you find a product, uh, you find a solution for a product. And this is, as you can see, it's really easy to get up and running. The problem is, and the problem always will be, is consistency past the, the dark days. Now the dark days, in my opinion, are the days when you're not making any sales and you're just making a bunch of content with the, the vision. Uh, before you start making your first sale, before you even get your first view, you 
you're making all this content and you're kind of like hoping and wishing and you don't really know if you're doing things right. You don't know if you're on the right track until you get your first view and your first like and your first comment that isn't your family or friends. So, but as you can see here, there, there's a lot of options. Hot oil treatment for hair. Let's look at this one. We're going to copy this. We're going to go back over to YouTube once again. We're going to paste that in. And then look at this. Hot oil treatment for hair growth, relaxed hair. We click on that. Let's see what the top result is. Top result, 152,000 views three years ago. 70,000 subscribers, 27,000 subscribers, million, 11,000, 19,000 views, 11,000 subscribers. And I like to look for these types of channels because in the realm of YouTube, a channel with less than 100,000 subscribers is, is probably a small channel. I'm a small channel, relatively speaking, but you know, there's opportunity here. Any other ideas? Is there any other niche that you'd want me to take a look at? Any other product? Because again, affiliate marketing is simply we're linking a solution, which in this case is this product with problems, with questions, with concerns. When you can do that, you can make money. You know what the, the solution is. The solution is, is this gold lust nourishing hair oil thing. And you're going to go out and find different products, find different problems. I should say, excuse me, find different problems. Um, so that's all you're doing. And you can do that with, um, you can do this with a podcast. You can do, do this with a YouTube channel, with a blog, with TikTok. You can even do the same thing with TikTok. People have hair channels over on TikTok, believe it or not. And it's all the same thing. Believe it or not, all of this is the exact same. People that have a problem are looking for a solution on Facebook groups. They're looking for it on TikTok and Instagram and Reddit and LinkedIn. They're looking for it. We all have basically the same same problems and we just choose our favorite place to go find that solution some people find the the best advice is on facebook some people find the best advice over on youtube all of these different sites are getting millions of of monthly views and millions of monthly views billions of monthly views equals people making money any other suggestions out there with regard to a product that we'd want to reverse engineer because again, that's all we're doing. We're finding a product and we're working backwards to find a solution. Um, we could do the same thing. I actually did over on, I did a video on, I did a video on TikTok once again with verses. Verses are really powerful because someone has narrowed down their solution to one or two things, maybe three. And when you do verses, you can find you can find a lot of opportunity. I think I did 1080, I think I did 1080, 1080 versus, yeah, 1080 versus 360. If we look at this, people are creating content where they're comparing two graphics cards, two GPUs. And when I look at Ahrefs, the keyword competition doesn't appear to be too difficult and we could create content to solve that problem, to answer that question. These are people that are trying to upgrade their graphics card and they want they need help figuring out which one is right for them so if we look at this 1080 ti versus 1080 three excuse me 3060 ti versus 1080 ti top result 1.4 thousand views 3060 versus 1080 1.2 thousand views again people are going to the internet and they know that they're either going to buy the 3060 or the 1080, they just want to make sure that they're making the best decision for them. You create content, you could uh, you could put affiliate links in the description of the video. In fact, I think the website's called like versus.com. Let me try that. V E R S U S dot com. I think that's the website. So this website here, big website, and that's what they're doing. They're simply comparing two products, maybe three, and they're putting affiliate links to each of those products. For example, this product right here, they are essentially comparing the two and then get the deal on Amazon. If we look in the bottom left-hand corner, this appears to be an affiliate link. You can do this too. Simple versus. Uh, if we go over to, and the only issue with doing verses, and I think I did talked about this last week, the only issues with doing verses 
with Ahrefs is that you're going to get a lot of the sports teams. And in fact, you know what this website's doing? And it actually caught me off guard. Where is it here? This, not that. Where's the versus website? This website. They're actually including cities. So like you could find Boston versus London, I think was one of them. And you could actually be an affiliate for hotels.com or booking or something like that and make money that way off off on the tangent but i found it interesting you can again you can do verses you can do comparison best all of that good stuff do you guys have any questions for me what do you think so far is this making sense uh, do you see how i go from any product to finding potential potentially um non-competitive keywords we could do the same thing with wood carving blocks uh, carving blocks is going to be a little competitive i know from personal experience that that's Kind of a challenge. So we could do base wood carving block. Let's copy that right quick. Copy this. We're going to go back over to our keyword research tool. We're going to paste this in once again. Hit enter. Now people that are looking up base wood carving blocks might also be interested in Ted's Woodworking. That's a ClickBank. That's a ClickBank program that's really popular. So base wood carving block, only 90 searches. If we just do like carving block. You could do like best carving block four and then recommend different carving blocks. Uh, 2.5 thousand searches, 955 keywords, carving block, wood carving block for carving. Um, so not a lot of searches, but could be something that you could get started. Uh, wood carving is really competitive, surprisingly competitive. Um, any questions out there? What do you guys think so far? Am I, am I by myself? Did everyone leave? Anyway, if we look at here, you can do the same thing with uh, home and garden tools. We could look at, let's do, I like doing outdoor furniture. Let's do furniture. Let's see if we can do outdoor furniture. We had created an entire site about gazebos. This isn't, uh, let's do file cabinets. File cabinets are interesting. And we know that if someone's looking for file cabinets, what else are they looking for? They're looking for other home office stuff and we could potentially recommend accounting software or we can recommend a, a desk, a small or medium sized desk. Let's look up file cabinet real quick. Let's see. Once again, the computer comes to a crawl. We could go over to, we could go over to our keyword research tool and we could look up file cabinet. I think I spelled it rec correctly this time. File cabinet. We let's see there are 463,000 monthly searches, 46,000 keywords, and this is in file cabinets. Once again, we could change the keyword difficulty to 5 or less, just like that. And what I really want to do is I want to go back over to Amazon and I want this to open up. Hopefully I don't lose connection here. And what I want to do is I want to look up and see if people are actually looking up this exact file cabinet. So uh, let's open up a new tab. Once again, we're going to paste it in and let's hit review after review. And we're looking for people that we're looking for websites, not people. We're looking for websites that are actually creating content about a review. Um, so we see best reviews guide. That's, you know, just an affiliate marketing website. L'OrealFurniture.com. We could actually do the same thing with this website that we did before with the, the hair care products. We could actually look at different niches and look at different things that people are looking up. Uh, let's see, consumer tips. Let's go to page four here and see if we can find something quick. Schoolspecialty.com is interesting. Um, let's see, Bright Eight, Bright, HomeGenerosity.com. Let's see uncluttercom These are all different niche ideas that we can just stumble across. But if we go here, what is this? Nope, that's not what we want. Uh, black file cabinet, file cabinet smoker. That's interesting. Um, fireproof file cabinet. So you could create video or content. Five best fireproof fire cabinets. Those people are concerned about their their stuff. That might be a way to get them into. Um, some other way to secure their products and services if they're looking for fireproof file cabinets. 
fire test fire king fireproof file versus standard metal file cabinet um, as you can see here this is interesting fireproof file cabinets they took that keyword they pasted it right here 7,000 views 44 subscribers there would be opportunity there as well so if we go back over um, unclutter we're gonna take this keyword let's go let's do this one real quick we're gonna do this one so this is the manufacturers website once again we're gonna copy this we're gonna go up to our site Explorer we are going to paste in the domain name just like that hit enter and what we're doing is we're basically going to look and see the keywords that are there and those keywords that they're ranking for could be an opportunity for us to create content all right so 14,000 organic keywords we're gonna click on this in just a moment like that we could also take a look at 17 best file cabinets look at this they've created all sorts of content that could help us all right so file cabinets logo office furniture we could start creating content there uh, monitor riser that's interesting L'Oreal chairs and so on but you can see how how you could go about this really quickly if you find a product that you know and this is just gonna be a quick summary find the product that you that you know or a question but find a product that you know you can copy the product name put review into YouTube or or even or even Google and then you can find different websites you can also go to the manufacturers website and look for different keywords that way guys do you have any questions for me I think this is you know this is pretty good information um, and you can do this with anything I recommend that you find a product that's at least hundred and fifty dollars as long as it is accurately solving the customers problem if you guys have questions or concerns definitely comment down below I think this is a pretty cool video and anybody can do this this doesn't take a rocket scientist this doesn't take really any any intelligence whatsoever you just have to put in the work and you have to you know put in the work to find the keywords and then continuously put in the work to um, create the content you create enough consistent content you'll find success over a long period of time guys that's all I have for you today uh, be sure to like subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when I upload my next video also if you want to learn more about different affiliate programs I have a separate YouTube channel if we go to if you go to my channel page and you click on the home page you're gonna see you're welcome Alex explains I hopefully explain that to you explain this to you so that made sense um, so here's some of the other things that I'm working on if you want to learn more about uh, individual affiliate programs click on affiliate program reviews and I just go through and I talk about different affiliate programs and I show you different ways to make money for example with this Yeti one that's how I stumbled across the backpack thing um, same with the razor you really can just you know go crazy with all of the different affiliate programs out there I'll say it once and I'll say it again there are thousands of affiliate programs that are begging to give you money just people kind of get stuck on the big one like Amazon and Bluehost and ClickFunnels and some of the other ones out there but there are smaller affiliate programs that are out there that that are able and willing to give you money if you want to learn how to start a YouTube channel or a website I've got different channels for those as well definitely check them check those out if you click on home and you scroll all the way down I have it under Godbolt family of networks uh, start the channel is something I just started in October uh, web hosting rewind is something that I'm trying to bring back from the dead I started it a year ago and then I kind of just took a year off from doing it sales funnels made easy is actually all about sales funnels obviously and then we've got this one so guys if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below or if you're on the live stream comment real quick if not that's all I have for you guys today thank you for stopping by I know that your time is precious and important and so I appreciate you guys spending however long you spent with me Thank you very much, you guys. Have a great night, and we will see you tomorrow.